Okay, anyway, so then I saw on the Reddit that then the people were like posting about this the, the thing where I reacted to Reddit like top of other subreddits, not like my own subreddit, but like the, you know, what are some really good subreddits? Like today I fucked up, Tifu, Tifu, you know, those ones. And I was like, well, there's probably people who posted more recently than that, that we can read their posts. Cause I remember a couple of unhinged ones that we read like a year ago. Oh yeah, am I the asshole's good? <laughs> I like that one a lot. Okay, we could we could we could read some of those, and that would be fun. That was a fun time, and we can just see that that that's a good one. That's a good one. Reddit.com slash r slash is it just a m i a a i t a? Is that it? Are you looking for am I the asshole? Yes, I am. Go to homepage. No, 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 no. Message mods. What? Oh, oh, this one is a private feature testing sub. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to stumble upon that. Um, okay, my bad. Um, and then we have, yeah, the hummus. I remember the hummus. What happened with the hummus? It was like, <laughs> wait, what was the hummus story? There's something about like, I, <laughs> it's like son was eating hummus and he thought like the mom, the parents thought like his, her kids were having gay sex. <laughs> And they were just eating hummus, <laughs> something like that. I remember, I remember, and it was a really funny story. <laughs> uh, boy and his lover, yes, a boy and his lover, exactly. Okay, so we have here, we have, we can start on this one. We have two subreddits that we can look at. <laughs> okay, okay, there's this one, and we can. I like to go to top of. Well, let's do top of top of all time and see what we've missed. Okay, am I the asshole for pretending to get fired? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the asshole for, for, for pretending to get fired when customers get a temper with me? Oh, and people vote like not the a-hole. Wait, this one sounds funny. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Am I, okay, I'm a high schooler with a weekend job at a coffee shop. Okay, let me picture this. Wait, okay. My coworkers who work weekends are James, the owner's son. He goes to my school, Okay. Um, he's a shift manager, not a real formal thing. He's a friendly guy. Okay, that's James. Danielle, a college student who sometimes works weekends too. Okay. So sometimes customers will come in and just be angry about such little stuff. Like literally blow up about nothing. I don't know if they're in a bad mood already or and looking for someone to take it out on or what, but it's a lot. Like how sad do your have so your okay. Like how okay. How sad so you have to be a grown ass man. Oh, do you have to be? How sad do you have to be to be a grown ass man taking your anger out on high school and college kids? Yeah, that's fair. So James and I were joking about having a little fun with him and hopefully getting them off our backs. One day I was at work and some guy was having a temper about how we don't make coffee hot enough. <laughs> oh my God. Bless customer service workers because this is not. Okay. Which I couldn't do a thing about because I gave it to him right out of the machine. Okay. Fair. So yeah. So James came in and was like, sir, is there a problem here? And the guy started ranting at him too. So he was like, OP, this is unacceptable. You're fired. <laughs> okay, okay. I started acting real sad, like, no, please don't fire me. My family needs the money. I need this job, please. And he played up like being a hard ass, telling me to take off my apron and leave. The angry guy started backtrack, like, it isn't that big of a problem. You don't need to fire her over me over it. I didn't mean it. And James was like, no. We pride ourselves on the best customer service. Of course, after all that drama, I still had my job. We were just acting. And we've done it a couple times. Whenever a customer will lose their temper at Daniela or I, James will storm in and fire us. And almost every time the person who had come in angry will apologize and say they didn't mean it. It's kind of satisfying maybe making people realize their actions might actually have consequences. Anyways, I was telling my friends from school about this and a few of them thought it was a mean prank to let someone go away thinking they'd gotten someone who desperately need, need, needs the money fired. Am I the asshole for this joke? <laughs> the role playing. Dude, that's hilarious. No, I think I think that's I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, not the asshole. I guess it's been like, this means like there's like a, a poll. That's hilarious. Not the, the perfect way of dealing with hostile customers. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the silver. Edit to gold. You're too kind. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think like that, those are great. Definitely not the asshole. 
honestly surprised that Karen wasn't happy about getting a person fired. Dude, some of the videos I've seen about people who are like, oh my god, who are like so awful to customer service workers probably would, you know, they actually would be happy about that. There's some awful people. Like, my blood gets boiling. What is it? Is it is it public freakout? There's like a subreddit that's called like public freakout. And I think it's usually covered, like it usually is just covered with like Karens who are just awful people. And nothing, like I usually don't watch them, but sometimes I scroll and I have to, I just like, and my blood goes like, doom, 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 doom. just people are just so awful. Am I the asshole for telling my extended family how many men, roughly, my sister has slept with? Uh, yes, you are. That's, oh, oh, they have everyone sucks. <laughs> I gotta get away. Am I the asshole for telling my extended family how many men, roughly, my sister has slept with after she outed? Oh, she sucks too. After she outed our youngest brother as a virgin. This is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. We had a family dinner this evening. My family has four kids in total. Me, my elder sister, 29, my younger sister, 24, and my youngest brother, 22. Extended family attended our family dinner. So all of our SOs are cousins, aunts, uncles. During the dinner, my eldest sister and youngest brother got into a mild disagreement. My sister seemed, at least to me, to be coming across as very aggressive out of frustration and losing said argument. The two of them were too absorbed in their argument to realize the rest of us were getting a bit fed up. Eventually, my sister got really fed up and said, shut up. I'm not going to argue with a 22-year-old virgin. My brother hadn't done any personal attacks up to that point. It was completely unprovoked. I don't think it... I think it might have been the alcohol as my sister is a mean drunk. Anyway, I immediately told my sister to grow up and that she was making an embarrassment of herself. She replied by saying everyone knows he's a virgin and she didn't say anything wrong. This annoyed me as my bro definitely has confidence issues and doesn't need to be made fun of like this. So I responded saying how she slept with well over a hundred men while she was in college and that since everyone in the family knows it's not that not a big deal, right? Turns out her husband didn't know about this. <laughs> So messy. Since her husband didn't know about this amazingly, I genuinely assumed he must have known. He left the party angrily saying my sister misled him about her past. Family is blaming me for their marital problems. I refused to accept I did anything wrong. My sister bullied my brother in front of everyone and all I did was give her a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> everyone sucks. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> Woo. That one is messy okay let's do top for this one of i think we can do <laughs> well we know all time is the sea bat song <laughs> we know what that one is we know <laughs> we want to wear this one. <laughs> oh my god Okay, so under that. Okay, today I fucked up by buying everyone an Ancestry DNA kit and ruining Christmas. Did I read this one? Is my memory that bad that I don't remember this at all? Earlier this year, Ancestry DNA had a sale on their kit. I thought it'd be a great gift idea, so I bought six of them. Have I done this? I cannot remember the story. I guess, you know, the benefit of having bad memory is that you get to, like, re-know things. Okay. I bought them six of them for Christmas presents. Today, my family got together to exchange presents for our Christmas Eve tradition. And I gave my mom, dad, brother, and two sisters each a kit. Okay, I feel like that's a fine gift. So like, you know, okay. As soon as everyone opened their gift at the same time, my mom started freaking out. She told us how she didn't want us taking them because they had unsafe chemicals. We had to explain to her that there were no, actually no chemicals, but we could tell she was flustered. Later, she tried to convince us that only one of us kids need to take it since we'll all have the same results and to resell extra kits to save money. Okay, fast forward. Our parents have been fighting upstairs for the past hour and we are downstairs trying to figure out who has a different dad. <laughs> that is so sus. Only one of you guys needs to take it. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, TLDR. I bought everyone in my family Ancestry DNA kit for Christmas. My mom started freaking. Now our parents are fighting and my dad might not be my dad. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man. Update. Thank you so much for all the love and support. My sister's brother and I have not decided yet if we're going to take the test. No matter what the results are, we will still love each other and our parents no matter what. Update number two. Christmas isn't ruined. My f up actually turned into a christmas miracle turns out my sister's father wait what 
so not wait wait what turns out my sister's father so okay my sister's father passed away shortly after she was born a good friend of my mom's was able to help her through the darkest time of her life and they went on to fall in love and create the rest of our family they never told us because of how hard it was for my mom last night she was strong enough to share stories and photos with us for the first time and it truly brought us closer together as a family this is a Christmas we'll never forget. And yes, we're all excited to get our test results. Merry Christmas, everyone. P.S. Sorry, my mom isn't a whore. No, you're not my daddy. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that was crazy. Um, That's really wholesome. What a great ending. <laughs> that's insane. Okay. That is really cute. Okay, I'm going to close that one. What a roller coaster. That's a good one. Okay. Today I fucked up by living in a dark bedroom for six years. Ooh, this one sounds kind of funny. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. <clears throat> the overhead fan in our bedroom uses one of those compact halogen light bulbs. Okay. I think I know what they're talking about. Six years ago, the bulb burned out and got really dim. Just barely a glow. I bought a replacement bulb, but when I put that one in, it was also barely lighting up. So I realized the unit was bad. The fan still worked great. It is literally the best fan I've ever had because it moves a ton of air and is super quiet. Wow. Okay. The fan had also been a gift when we moved into our house. The unit cost over $400, so I didn't want to replace it, even though our bedroom doesn't get much natural light. So it is pretty dark. Where is this going? So since then, over the years, my wife and I have had to make do with no overhead light. We open the windows during the day and at night use a combination of bedside lamps and the bathroom light. Okay. It's never really good as good lighting as an overhead lamp. So we keep some flashlights up there when we need on our cleaning area. But after six years of living in the dark this winter, I just decided to replace the damn thing. But before I did, <clears throat> I decided to try one last time with another bulb because however unlikely it is possible, both bulbs I had tried were bad. <clears throat> so I'm up there installing the new bulb, grab the fan remote, okay? And as I'm turning the light on, I realize the goddamn thing is dimmable. <laughs> For six fucking years, we lived in the inconvenience of no overhead light. And the whole time, it was just because the damn thing was set to dim. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny that is so funny six years is insane six years no way i mean like i can understand it because at some point you just like okay i accept this oh wow that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. I sat at a dining room table under a very dim fan light that I could have sworn used to be brighter a year ago reading your post. I got up and hunted the fan remote stuck forgotten in a drawer and released place batteries. There was not an obvious slider for a dimmer, but I just held the light button down. And what do you know? The light got a lot brighter. It is fair to say that your post has brightened my life. Thanks. Okay. That's cute too. How did I not read this a year, six, a, like, cause I did that, like, I read these like two years ago, um, and I swear I did all time, same subreddit. I must have seen this. Today I fucked up by owning a golden retriever but while being black. Sounds kind of funny. What is this one? Sigh. Work was rough today, and all I wanted to do afterward was to sit on the couch and let the TV watch me while eating food not cooked by my own hands. Fair. The answer to that? delivery food ordered i let the dog in the yard to burn some energy and sat camped outside with him okay wait i let the dog in the yard to burn some energy sat camped outside with him while waiting for the delivery doordash grubhub uber and everyone other than jehovah's witnesses had trouble locating my address strictly relying on gps so it's nothing for me to post up and wait outside for when they're close flag them down and go back inside for a contactless drop off okay okay wait so he's just saying it's like very hard to find his house or her okay pertinent details before shit hits the fan my neighbor and i share a fence with a doggy door as our pups are super close and you can bet each time if my dog is outside hers will follow for a cross yard playtime okay it's cute this was the case today and probably bad judgment on my part to think that i would be able to break up the fun quickly 
Where is this going? Okay. Both dogs were in the neighbor's yard at the time and the notification came through that the driver was pulling up and I had to call out a few times to get my dog's attention. Neighbor thankfully whistled for her dog and I had to put on the voice for mine to acknowledge I existed and then took off running from, from my door while waving to the driver who by this point was getting out of the car. Pup and I have a game called Runaway where I will take off yelling, run away! And literally he will chase me after like a human-sized fetch stick. Wait, what? Pup and I will have a game called where I will take off running, run away! Okay, and he will chase me. Okay, chase. Okay, so he's running and the dog chases him. I used this to my advantage until he realized I was putting him inside but managed to get him through the storm door and close the screen right before he could run out. I am having so much trouble picturing this. Until I realized I was putting him inside the dog, but managed to get him through the storm door, close the door before he could run out of the house, right? Then realized that I'd left the gate unlocked like an idiot with the driver standing right outside by this point. I didn't have a mask on at this point, and neither did she. So I yelled from the porch that she could leave the food by the mailbox. Leave the food by the mailbox! And that's where the fun started. Is that your dog? My bullshit meter didn't go off. I thought she was asking a question with an obvious answer because duh, she was a dog person. So I engaged with dog owner gushiness. Yes, blah, blah, blah. His name is XYZ. Want to say hi? I'll be nice because you brought my food. But she just stood there awkwardly for a minute, put the food down and quickly jumped back in her car. In my mind, I was like, okay, weird, but whatever. Snatched the food, went back inside. Went to wash my hands and from the kitchen window, I see if I can see the full street where she's parked outside thinking, okay, weird again, but didn't dwell on it. Figuring she was just looking at the route to her next location. I went about my business of preparing to destroy my meal. A few minutes later, the dog begins barking maniacally at the door. I take a glance at the cameras and realize she's still out front parked directly in front of my mailbox. Uh, okay, what's going on here? I go outside and try to get her attention, but she's on the phone and doesn't notice me. I walk up like I'm going to check the mail and she does pull off. But towards the back of the neighborhood, that is only one way in, one way out. A lot of people make this mistake. Yada, yada, yada. By this time, okay, this person, <laughs> yep it. By this time, I think I'm losing my mind. So I go back in and still watch the street for the cars to pass. It never does, okay? I don't know. People are weird. So I just left it at that and went back to eat. About 10 minutes later, dog starts going ham at the door. So I check the cameras to see two police cars sitting outside my house. I continue to watch the cameras really. Yup, the cops are getting out of the car and walking back and forth in front of mine and my neighbor's yards. I go out to see if anything is wrong. And they introduce themselves before saying they were called because a stolen golden retriever was reported at my address. And if there was a dog in the home. It clicked that the driver had called the police and then explained my version of what happened. They were really respectful and apologetic, but asked if I could get Sir Pup. I went ahead, opened the door for the dog who took off, ready to greet the new faces outside. His callers had tagged that matched the address and phone number of mine, yet it, it was blah, 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 Okay. For them, as it was obvious that they wanted to get, okay. No hard feelings on either side. We were all walking away when driver's car slowly comes creeping from the back of the neighborhood. I yelled out to them that the lady was right there and they positioned themselves in front of her car in a way where she'd have to stop and speak with them. I don't know if this lady was drunk or off her meds, but she rolled down the window and was literally sobbing hysterically that she saw me take the dog from my neighbor's yard, that animals get no justice, and the icing on the cake, my kind, oh my God, only owns pit bulls and Rottweilers. There was no way he was mine and needed to be protected. That is insane. I honestly did not want to deal with that mess. So, so sorry, guys. This is a tale of revenge. I went back inside and stayed the fuck on my couch. My dad was already shitty. Everyone left a few minutes after, so I assumed she got a warning. However, I did report the incident to the delivery service and was offered credits towards my next meal. I splurged on that on a bit. I splurged that on a bakery and now I'm currently fucking up a slice of carrot cake. Grateful it didn't end worse. That is so yikes. Okay. Oh, TLTR, ordered food, racist delivery person thought I stole my own golden retriever and had a breakdown when I didn't get carted off in handcuffs. Didn't get shot, but got cake in the end. <laughs> Bro, what? Okay, edit. Wow, Reddit. Thanks for the massive amounts of love and well wishes was amazing. Thank you so much for your kind words. I'm going to do my best and go through every comment and private message. I wish I could share this cake with all of you. That's wholesome. Carrot cake lovers unite. <laughs> Happy to share this pile of awards with other great posts and comments. Taking the sound advice to keep a close eye on the dog when he goes out. We'll also share with a neighbor just in case. My husband did agree that many of you seek further action to seek further action against a delivery driver, but I'm pretty torn on whether to do so. Things are hard out there for all of us, including the less savory members of our community. But I will 
take the day to think on the next steps. I appreciate this sub. The sub this was posting to for restoring it after being removed. I I apologize that this topic bent the rules. Oh, did it? Um, this was a way to vent. <clears throat> Thank you for allowing this to be a place of dialogue. Stay classy, everyone. Wow. This person is a yapper, but what a story. <clears throat> <laughs> oh that's crazy yeah the pimple remark is was out of pocket and what the like what people okay i officially branded myself as the biggest perv okay there's that i've been lying to my wife for 13 years i love this post by the way it's really funny okay i'm not reams I don't think I can read this. Well, no, I'm not reading this. <laughs> I'm not reading this. But you guys know where to find it if you want to read it. Um. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I just wanted to see like what I was gonna click on, and I was about to get banned. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's literally a link to another website. Like, cause he has now because of that post, he has an AMA. <laughs> like ask me anything <laughs> so he was like here's a, this like it was such a big <laughs> you know um okay what is happening is this a reference to the last post dude that post must be crazy then <laughs> okay wow all right people 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 get it together <laughs> Okay, I fucked up by thinking a woman was a boy, groped her boob. Okay. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, uh, today, I'm getting sexual with my dentist again. <laughs> Help. Okay. Um. All right. Okay, people. Um. Okay. I jumped into a lake in my brown panties. Save a man that turned out <laughs> to be an elite military scuba <laughs> scuba diver in training how long is this one oh it's pretty long oh frick, that one looks funny though <laughs> that scenario is funny okay um okay it is a pentagram harness all right all right okay i have my reddit history revealed by jimmy kimmel live on tv a pizza delivery 140 percent this is the one we read last time this is really funny the <laughs> okay <clears throat> these stories are hilarious dude um okay scuba okay i'm couch surfing with my sister and her boyfriend. I work for him at a lakeside bar trying to pay for college. My stay is open, and while I'm not thrilled, I need both the job and my scored sofa accommodations to make it work. To give them their space and make uh, myself a break from doom scrolling, I take a run by the lake in the mornings. This lake is bomb ass and draws scuba divers to the flooded town at the bottom. Oh, cool. Okay. Today I was in my own head running when a dark mass floated to the surface 40 feet away. I was on the craggy side of the lake and this dude looked dead. D-E-A-D. -E Facing away from me, his head was tipped back, eyes closed, bobbing like a fishing lure. No one else was around, so I thought he was quantum crazy out here scuba diving alone at the crack ass of dawn, giving himself the bends or some nonsense. Like a jackass, I didn't yell at him to check in. Instead, I towed off my shoes, stripped to my skivvies to save the imbecile. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but like the way that they type and talk is hilarious. I stripped to my skivvies to save the imbecile. The movie trailer in my head had me taking three glorious steps and launching into the deep blue water Black Widow style. Instead, my tender feet hit the sharp rocks and I contorted under the pain like a slinky as I uncorded into the lee, pinched pitched myself into the water doing a side flop. I was also wearing my contacts, so I swam hard in his direction with my eyes closed. When I opened them, he was dead ass staring at me like I'd lost my ever-loving mind, so I blurted, are you okay? He removed the regulator and incredulously said, yes, my bl brain blue screened. <laughs> my brain blue screened is so funny okay they should be a writer this is crazy okay my brain blue screened while i tread water the lake felt infinitely deep before i could terrify myself by hearing the jaws theme song i turned to nope the hell out of there yelling over my shoulder i thought you needed saving to explain my idiocy 
As I pivoted, another dude cleared his throat from 30 feet away on the other side. I never heard a sound from him, so I freaked out, failing and belting an ear-wounding scream at him. Both asshats laughed as a few more heads surfaced around us. I was surrounded by divers, all wildly entertained by my ridiculous high-octane F-up. After pointing at me and the beach, the merman that was... (laughs) The merman that was originally my original target cautiously swam towards me and after I nodded and escorted me to the shore. The beach was much further than I had anticipated. So I was trying to low key breathe, hiding my need to suck all of the O2 from the air. Also, the, also the comedy of the situation consumed me. I started to giggle. Finally, I joked, dude, you are lucky you weren't actually dying because it would have taken everything I had to drag your sorry ass as far. He chuckled before offering me a toe. Hell no, not going to happen. Even if I had a dog pal, I wouldn't accept, openly accept that defeat. He quietly mocked the, me the rest of the way to the shore. I'm a secret sap for it. Wait, ooh. These were cadets or recent graduates from a re- military college here for the summer. They'd been training in pools and were doing some open water exercises. They had been out for at least part of the night. I'm sure I blew up whatever drill they were running. He's p- training for pre-dive school, question mark. And since I'm an expert Googler, I'm guessing that means combat diving. At the shore, I did my best to throw my shoulders back and march out of the water in my sports bra and undies in front of what I can only imagine are some pretty badass men. I did invite him and his clandestine crew for an absurdly overpriced beer at the bar tonight before shame jogging back into the woods for my clothes. TLDR tried to save an injured diver and ended up crashing some kind of military training. Edit. It's lo- Lake Jokasi in SC. The mere man cheated. Mare man cheated. He was wearing a floaty vest and fins. That bastard. Wait, this, this sounds awesome. Oh my god, are they like married now? Please tell me they're married. Updates. You see people screaming over, don't you have better things to do than pester me about my love life? Love life? Ha! The merman, the frog prince, and dash- the dashing man from the depths, the king of the shadow realm, and the many other nicknames that Reddit has bestowed is still very much in my life. He's better than I can describe with my mortal words. Fangirl him if you must, but I will understand. I will understand. Thank you for all the well wishes and positivity that this post has given. I hope something amazing and magical happens to each of you, and if it happens to be shamefully funny, I hope you will share, because we all need as many laughs as we can get. Be safe, everyone. Sorry, I skipped to the ending. What happened here? He showed. Oh my God, before that. Oh my God, I skipped. Fuh! It's Lake Jokasi and Essie. The mere man cheated. He wore a Okay, I'll admit, there is a part of me that is attracted to this his mysterious appearance from the shadow realm. I'm definitely imagining that he's constructed from some kind of aluminum steel alloy, but he was also funny and kind. I was vibing his proclivity for witty and sarcastic comments and have a million questions I want to ask him. Ha, edit two. Okay, at work now and had to turn off the notifications because you snippers are blowing me up. To all ladies giving advice earlier. Yes, I left the dragonflies at home and went full cute sundress and Jesus sandals. Tried to wear my hair straight, but it's hot as hate out here and it'll be beach wave sweaty before long. My sister's BF has blabbed the whole thing and all of their staff is in full on ribbling mode. Kind of great actually. They are currently reading the Reddit post that are cackling at you people too. So even if he doesn't show, we're going to have a great night. We have a long way to go since it's just a dinner crowd, but thank you for making my day. Great people. Edit number three, solid dinner crowd, but no mere man or frog prince as you people have started to call him. Our lakeside drinking crew will start rolling in in another one to two hours. I thought you salty bastards today I fucked up would chew me out and chew me up and spit me out, but look at you showing up in the name of love you guys are awesome even if i get ditched it was worth the day with you edit four one hour later still no show edit five (gasps) he's handsome and funny and he smells great yes i hugged him i'm southern it's what we do not the smelling huggy he's nice and smart keeps defending me from my jackass friends he i think he low-key likes that everyone knew who he was but not sure how he'll feel about being a reddit celebrity i've learned a lot about him but it wouldn't be fair to share without his permission his whole crew did not come only one and his bud uh, immediately started flirting with my coworker. That's a good sign, I think. Holy shit! You'd think I'd never met with a guy, met up with a guy before. Also, my friend straight up asked him if he saw my dragonfly undies that look like penises with massive glow in the dark turquoise blue balls. Only she used the Reddit version. Thanks for the nickname, Reddit. He didn't answer, but smirked the truth to me after she left. It was cheeky but cute. He'd also been sharing some of the shit that he'd been taking from today, uh, from being saved. He has some the same self-deprecating sense of humor as me. I think we are vibing. So that's all the updates for tonight. He's getting the rest of my attention. Keep sending the, me those good vibes and peace, people. Oh my god, so wow, that is really cute. Sorry, I was, this is I'm invested. No wonder people got invested. Also, like cheerful chaos pancakes, like storytelling is like on another level. So I'm just like, pff, no way. Wow. I yapped my way all the way to five o'clock from just reading Reddit, guys. 
The script was scripting, yes. What is wrong with you? We could build a home in this outside. If it isn't